Hey, what's going on guys? XT here back again with another video. Now we're going to be continuing the lo-fi series on Bedroom Studio Corner. So in this video, I want to show you an easy way to generate lo-fi chord progressions or lo-fi chords, if you will. So what I like to use, if you've watched my channel or any of my videos, you know that I love Ease Keys. That's my go-to plugin for keys. So if you don't want to play ease keys if you want to start up you can come here to the browser and um you can check some some nice uh, midi chord progressions that they have some examples that you can use and build from so i'm going to go into the jazz side and i'm going to go into the straight and the a i'm going to look for something that sounds good that is perfect so I'm just going to drag and drop that into the Ease Keys channel. And then I'm going to just go in there and I'm going to check out the chords. There they are. So let me play these back. Rather, let me change my tempo to 80. Okay, I don't think I like those. They kind of have a, a delay to them. Let me check another swing. That sounds much better. So I'm going to select that and drop it in there. Okay, let me stop that. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Now I can drop these into my playlist. Now, as you can tell, they're starting from the first bar to the eighth bar. So this is an eight bar um, loop, if you'll call it. But what I like about this is that instead of using a loop, you can use these uh, MIDI keys and build from them because you can loop them, you can change the sound, you can customize it further instead of taking a loop and trying to chop that. And, you know, it's just so much work. But if you want to see me use um, a loop in another video, um, you can just let me know down in the comments. Then I'll also have a video of actually taking a sample loop and then, you know, uh, using that. So now we have this. Let me just put on my metronome. That sounds awesome. Now let's just add some drums to this and then we can start sorting out this, this track. Okay, I'm going to go into loops. Okay, that sounds good. I like that because it already has that that low fidelity sound in, in into it in this loop. Now Now time to make these keys dirty and I'm going to load them to a mixer track and I'm going to load isotope vinyl. And I'm going to just raise the wear. And I'll add some gross beat and see what kind of effect I can throw in here. Let me see where gross beat is. Is it miscellaneous? There we go. Um, let's see in time what we can add. Just add some glitch effect. That sounds nice. Let me see if I can find some texture that I can add to this. 
In my other video, I added um, a, a vocal and a background ambient sound, less, um, like some, some rain or something. Now, let me see if I can add some dialogue to this. Um, just add the Steven Universe sad moments. It's not so, it's not so bad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the pitch. Just drag the pitch a moment. It's going to take a while to load because it has to restretch the whole thing. Let's just give it a moment. There. Okay, stretching again. How many times did I pull this thing? I think I pulled it twice. Okay, there we go. It's not so bad. Uh, it didn't change okay. anything. Okay, now let me add a phaser to this sound. Let me go to fa not flanger, phaser. Um, flanger, fruity phaser. It's not so bad. Let me cut out the kick on that bar. Then I'm going to load this loop to a track as well. And I'm going to add an EQ. Let me use the FL Studio EQ here. Um, where is it? I'm going to go filter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cut. Then I'm going to cut some of the highs off. It's not so bad. And add another EQ to these drums. Just to boost some of the low end. It's not so bad. Now let me add some rain effect sound in the back. So that's how you can make these chords seem interesting. Now, if I want to change the sound, I can just come here and switch the sound. It's not so bad. Uh, it's okay. I can transpose up. Now, if I can go to my master and add another vinyl, then I can really kind of make the whole track feel nice and lo-fi. I'm going to change the date or the year, give some electrical noise, some scratch and some dust. I'll leave it on 2000. We still want that low end to be in here. Now what would be left is to add some bass. Now to add some bass all I can just do is just copy over these sounds and for bass I'm going to use, I'm going to go here into instruments and bass and use acoustic. I'm going to use that one and then I'll just copy um, the, the keys that are already made here and then I'm just going to use the bass notes like these bottom notes here so which means I have to delete everything on top that's just a quick hack that you can do just to get some bass going ok 
Okay, let me lower that. Lower that again for those low notes. Okay, I want all these notes to be loud. So I'm just gonna select them all, press control, and then just make them loud. That sounds good. Now let's play it with the track. Let me transpose these keys down as well, just to make sure that they sound good. Because you still want to keep that ambient nice and classy feel to the keys. And when they're up there, they, they are too harsh. Okay, I think we don't need the rest of that, that audio there, so I'll just cut that out. We just need that first part. And that is good for the intro, so I can basically just use it just for the intro. I can take out the drums, like over here. It's not so bad. Let me bring back that drum. And then maybe I can add a filter as it's starting, I'll just add parametric EQ at that. And then all I just have to do is automate this part, automate the, the high pass. Then I just raise it like that. Bring that back. What you're, what you're doing. Okay, let me play that again. So then if you want with these keys, you can also just layer them uh, with another sound if you want to. Like let's say for instance, if I add some orchestral um, sounds, like maybe a string section, just to add a little bit more class to it as well, I can just copy that over. Then maybe that can come in a little bit later in the track. Let me go back and do that again. Paste that there, and then maybe over here, just start maybe over, well, over here, I guess. So you see what's nice about this is that I can go ahead and edit all these notes and all this note data in this track and I can even sustain um, these strings so they follow along and I can play around with them. So the thing is to, to, to turn something that's made perfect into something imperfect. That's the basis of um, lo-fi music. So I hope you find this really helpful. If you do, leave a like down below. If you want to see more videos, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think about lo-fi. Is it your you know your favorite go-to style of hip-hop nowadays or you like something else but subscribe if you're new to the channel i'm gonna check you guys out in my next video thanks so much for watching i am x and i'm out peace